Hi guys, some of you might know me from my Instagram and TikTok channels. I'm Lee, AKA Dad Download. I'm a proud girl and dog dad, and this is my wife, Hillary. Hello. Now what you might not know about us is we're actually a very proud EV family. And that's why we've been working with Admiral to create this video, to give you our view on why owning an EV might be right for you. We know that there's a lot of information out there and it can be hard to know exactly what to believe. We also know that a lot of parents don't think owning an EV is quite right for them. So we wanted to share our experience with you. Exactly, this video takes a closer look at EV ownership from a parent's perspective. And it's something that definitely would have helped us when we were deciding whether or not to switch to an EV. We've teamed up with Admiral, one of the UK's largest car insurers. Their research shows that a whopping 71% of families with children under the age of 16 or younger wouldn't even consider getting an EV, which is shocking. Mm -hmm. We know from experience that just because you've got kids, an EV could still be the right car for you and that there are a lot of benefits to owning one as a parent. Of course, the research highlights lots of valid concerns that parents have around owning an electric vehicle. Everything from running out of charge on the motorway to being stuck at a charge point for hours with hungry kids in the back seat. But most of the part, these concerns are unlikely to happen and a lot of misconceptions about EVs can be debunked. So we're here to tackle these common concerns so you can decide if an EV is right for you. So let's get started, shall we? Yeah. I mean, in my experience, there's more danger of me running out of social barrier on a big family day out. <laughs> yeah. But no, as parents, we totally get why that would be a concern. Nobody wants to run out of charge, especially with the kids in the back. It's never happened to us. You get the same warning as you do as if you were running low on peril. So you know exactly how many miles you have left. Plus, when your car's battery is below 5%, most EVs have a navigation system that will kick in and locate the nearest charger. Mm -hmm. Although it's worth knowing that it can take around six hours to fully charge an EV using a seven kilowatt home charger. For this, we provide a typical range of 220 miles, which equates to over a hundred local journeys. That's what we call parenting miles. You know, those little trips that mount up each week, like the school run, trips to the shops, or dropping the kids off at a club or activity. Do you know that average parent spends around 150 minutes a week doing the school run? That's without the weekend driving and play dates too, which we know can take hours to plan. We understand why running out of charge would be a concern for parents, but remember that thousands of chargers pop up around the UK every year. In fact, there are now more charger locations and petrol stations in the UK. That's over 57,000 chargers across more than 32,000 locations. You might be as likely to run out of fuel as run out of charge. But speaking of charge, the number one priority is keeping the kids' tablets charged for those longer journeys. You know that though, guys, don't you? All parents do. But if you need to recharge for 30 minutes or so on a trip, it just means that dad's taxi gets a 30 minute break from the dreaded question, are we there yet? dad I totally get why this would be a concern obviously if there is an emergency something crops up last minute or you just get a rare day of sunshine and want to make the most of it you want to be able to just get up and go as a parent but some EVs can actually recharge to around 80% in as little as 30 minutes using the new rapid chargers imagine that up and rearing to go again in 30 minutes it takes us longer than that to get the kids in the car <laughs> research shows that other parents are the same yeah and with most EVs you can just plug them in overnight when you're doing the bath time, bedtime routine with the kids and then you're fully charged and ready to go by the following morning. So spoiler alert, it can actually work out cheaper to drive an EV and that was our experience. Right now you don't pay any road tax and charging is way more affordable than filling up a petrol. The choice of models across different price points is pretty extensive now, from city cars to SUVs to luxury models. Exactly, and long term and in our experience we found we have saved money driving an EV, so a bit more cash to spend on days out with the kids. According to recent analysis, there were cost benefits for EV drivers when it comes to running them. An EV driver who does 80% of charging at home will see an annual average journey cost of 680 versus 1470 for an equivalent petrol or diesel car. And we know that change is scary, but when you actually look at the realities of driving an EV, it makes more and more sense to choose one as your family car. 
And if you're worried about running out of charge or having your charging equipment damaged or stolen, you can ensure you have the right cover. Insurers often provide options for EV drivers for that extra bit of security. Admiral Car Insurance includes specific benefits as standard for EV owners. Battery cover, cover for charging equipment, out of the charge recovery and wallbox cover. For us, some of the main benefits of using an EV as a family car have been the amount of time we've saved. By charging overnight, we can just get up and go, which is a luxury with the two girls. We rarely have to stop on a journey to recharge, but if we do, it doesn't take long and we just take advantage and have a quick break. Yep, there's no more toing and froing to the petrol station, and research shows that there are fewer emissions from EVs, which improves air quality. There are so much benefits. It takes a lot to shock me, but this one actually did surprise me. EVs produce zero exhaust emissions, and on a more serious note, according to UNICEF, around one in three children are growing up in areas of the UK with dangerous levels of air pollution. When you look at it like that, it feels like a no-brainer to do what we can. Our kids' futures are important to all of us, and it makes sense to think of the impact we're having on the planet, doesn't it? From our experience, an EV can make a great family car, obviously from an environmental point of view, but also having the convenience of charging at home and the potential to save money on fuel. We've heard from other parents with similar opinions. One family from Greater London said, being a parent really does impact ownership of an EV because it's a sustainable way of transportation without harm to the environment. And one from Cheshire who thought EVs created a peaceful, less noisy environment for families. An EV isn't going to be perfect for everyone. We appreciate that, but if you're considering an EV as your next family car but aren't quite sure, we definitely recommend it. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment below. Ooh.